Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle with a sort of a parallel video to one we just made on on uh, XY Grib. XY Grib, uh, that is uh, just a quick demo of how to load a Grib file. Nothing fancy yet, but just how to load a Grib file. In this case, we're using OpenCPN. The other, the other video uh, does the same thing on using uh, XY Grib. Um, but XY Grib is just for looking at the uh, XY Grib doesn't have navigation or charts, nautical charts. And so if you want to load the Grib files into a program where you can actually do navigation, in fact, you can do even weather routing, uh, optimum weather routing with OpenCPN, then we need to get Grib files into here. And the, the main job of, the qui of this uh, video is uh, part of our quiz. It's in uh, Lesson 3. Quiz 203, I think, problem number 26. And it asks you, uh, in th that question asks you to be sure to confirm that you looked at uh, one or two of these videos on how to download grip files. So we're going to start with this one. The, qu the question says, explain in detail how you download, the, uh, say, wind and pressure, GFS model, wind and pressure for 300 miles uh, around uh, Nassau. That was an example given, and Nassau was defined as uh, something like 2505 north and 7721 west. So uh, we're going to do some kind of hybrid here. But, uh, OpenCPN has a lot of functionality that lets us do this a little, almost in, in one sense, uh, shorter, and uh, another sense, d uh, different from uh, uh, XY grip. So we we'll start out with finding out the region we want. Um, and here, you know, that's in the Bahamas over here somewhere. So what, one trick you could do is just go anywhere here, right click. Oh, I should also say we have quite a few videos on the use of um, open CPN. So some very basic ones starting from the beginning. Uh, so we start out, I'm going to right click and I'm going to drop a mark. And I'm going to go right click again and ask for the properties of this mark. I'm going to find Nassau is what I'm doing now. N-A-S-S-A-U, Nassau. And I'm going to say it's at uh, 25 here. It wants decimal degrees, like maybe 0.1, say. And then uh, western longitudes are negative, so this would be minus 77 point, let's uh, 20 minutes, that's like 0 0.30, something like that. But uh, now we can do a trick here. We're asking for three, the, the problem asks us to get the weather within 300 miles of a Nassau. So now I can do a trick. I just turned on range rings about that point. It's going to put Nassau in the right spot. And now I just am going to draw one range ring, and I'm going to put the radius of that 300 miles. So that's going to solve that problem for us right there. So there we go. That's where Nassau is. If we zoom in, yeah, that looks about right. Oh, wait. That's, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Close enough. And so, but we now know where 300 miles is. So we want to get the weather somewhere around here. So now the grib files, that's this plug-in here. And, um, oh, it's showing some previous data. It will always remember the data that you had before. And I worked through this once. Let me just take a quick look here. Oh, there's nothing there. That's interesting. It has stored the data even though the data is no longer there. Maybe if I, uh, actually, let me close. Let me close the program and then open it up again and see if it still remembers it. Uh, now I'll turn this on. No, okay. So what had happened is I had done a. I just did a quick, uh, a quick case to be sure that uh, mainly so I could find the directories on this computer. I didn't know where they were. I'm on a virtual machine. So here's Nassau, and now now there's, they're, they're all gone. So that was interesting. It stores a grip file even though you've deleted the original grip file. But that doesn't matter. So we, do we to get the grip files, it's this, it's this plug-in right here. And we have two ways to do it. One is, and we're going to come back to this because in the end it's the best way, it's just going to say, down, uh, show me one that I downloaded some other way from some other source and I put it somewhere I know like this is a downloads and that's what we're going to use but 
But the other is, let's take advantage of their tool, which is going to tell us how to ask for it. And it's going to use sale docs. You could use sale docs or Zygrib, but I'd, I'd recommend sale docs for now. We do want GFS. It has a couple other models. But, um, and again, we're using this just to, just to have it build the, the stuff we want here for the time being. I'll show you, I'll show you that. So here, here's a NASA. And uh, we want, let's just say we want a resolution of uh, 0.25 degrees, let's say every three hours, and we want it for three days. And then you see it's creating the sale docs email request. Uh, this is just an overflow for the line. I'll show you that in a moment. That's, I don't know why that's there exactly. Um, but, um, and it defaults, the, the OpenCPN uh, grib, grib requester here uh, defaults to wind and pressure, assuming you always want that, which is reasonable, I think, probably. And then, uh, then you can add other things if you want to. But the main thing is generated this, but it, it really doesn't know where we want yet. So we hit manual selection. Manual selection, now we know where we want. We want a box something like this right something like that so that's what we want then once you've drawn that you come back here and click that again now it's back and it's put in the dimensions that we wanted so we've used this tool to do something it created the right format here and with the right dimensions and it asked for this is 0.25 I'll address this here in a moment and then wind and pressure and then you say send Send and then now at this point it's go, I'm gonna hit send here just for the heck of it. Now it's opening in, in the way this works is it's assigning that it's gonna create an email in your default mail browser that you've assigned for that computer, and um, you can automate that very very uh, different ways. Or you uh, and there is in fact a way to automate it quite a bit in the instructions for the OpenCPN. But I, that's rather complex, and I would say, ultimately, you just use you learn the you learn if you're going to use if you want to display these these uh, grib files here, basically you want to get them on your own with your own email program, totally independent of this OpenCPN. But this is just showing us that it's 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 done the work sort of in generating the right format, but. Um, almost the right format. Um, this is uh, this equal sign we don't need. Um, that's just a way to do a line break when you have a limited number of space. Technically this 6 doesn't belong here either but it looks like it doesn't hurt. This is telling you do it every three hours out to 72. And I think I can demonstrate that here. Let me just, I'm going to ask for two things. I'm going to ask for this and then show you that if we take away that, we're going to get exactly the same file. Um, and that's the format. And then all you do is send that mail. Send that mail. Uh, that's right. Let's see, where is it going? Query it there. Okay, I'll send the mail. So that sent the mail. And then that, this thing, sale docs responds very quickly. That'll be certainly probably less than a minute. Less than a minute that'll come back. But while we're waiting, let me see if I have, here do I have iBooks? No, do I have, I'm looking for a version of our book that might be open. Oh yeah, here it is. So in our textbook, Modern Marine Weather, there is a detailed, very detailed, long discussion of the use of sale docs for getting for requesting your uh, GRIB files. And I would think that f the easiest way, in a sense, to get them into OpenCPN is just set this up in your own email program and download the files, put them where you want them, and then just load them with the file loader that's available in the OpenCPN. And that way, uh, you can store the email and then just change what you want. But uh, this is the format, and here's you know, you put a cent, and then here's an example of just some other models. See, the other reason for that too is uh, Sale Docs offers a whole lot more options for models and data than is available in the automatic drop down out of OpenCPN. So, 
Uh, for now, you can just get them from your own email request, and, and our book here uh, describes that in detail. Also, SailDocs has help files online, but you say send and then a space. Send in space and then the model, GFS. But notice here, no more spaces after that. There's not another space here anywhere. So you get a space in there, it's not going to work. This is the latitude and longitude. Um, you can put a decimal here, 60.5 if you wanted to, but generally not. This is the resolution, 0.25, comma. Then this vertical bar, which is above the, um, sort of like the backslash on most keyboards. And then th you could put in here, you can put in, you could even put 0, 6, 0, comma, 6, comma, 12, and then end it right end it period then it's going to send you those three maps back for the zero hour that'll be the most recent uh, uh, the most recent synoptic time and then six hours after that and 12 hours after that if you use this notation you put in one of them comma put in the second one that's defining the period then in put in two dots and then that takes you up to the ending so we want this picture is showing every six hours you want every six hours out to 48 pressure and wind and you just have to know what these abbreviations are and here's some sample for the NAM the HER data national digital forecast database and so forth so that's that now if we go back to our uh, program here let's see cancel we're done there so we should and we put in this program here I think let's see yeah we we set up a def, uh, just uh, Thunderbird as a, a Thunderbird as a default mail server in this machine. So let me go to the end. Well, no, get messages. Okay, so that we ask for two of them, and there's the two. These are actually going to be the same. Uh, now uh, let me go down here. So there's the there's the mail. And I could read it, but all I really care about is this attachment down here. That's a grid file. It's about 300K. I can right-click that and say Save As. And then where is this? Users default downloads. That's perfectly good. OK. Now, um, I'll do this other one, too. Right-click, Save As, and put that in there. OK, so we're done. So that's it. And that's done with a sort of linked, you know, the, the mail, pr the default mail program was sort of linked through here, which is convenient. Or you do this totally on your own with your email. Now we don't, this is the one where you're generating the, the one yourself. This is where you just go get the grib file that's already stored. And so, and, uh, and, and the reason it's come to the right place is because the last place I was was the right place. First time you click this, it'll be some random place in your directory. Then you have to go to the right place. But the next time you hit that button, you'll be in the right place. So you just click one of these things and say open. And there's the, there's the data that we're after. That's, in a sense, the answer to the question you've, you've done. Once you've uh, seen that and done that, you've done everything. And then, well, we really, this program, this is a nice program. It deserves more attention on this, uh, this grip viewer. But, um, in, uh, but you see, you look up here, where is it? Oh, no, here's a grip viewer. So these are the data that came in. And let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12. So it's every three hours like we asked for, showing wind and pressure. And you see, as I move my around here, it shows this. This is 1718. So it's showing isobars every every one millibar. Actually, I changed that. The default, and if you want to change that, you hit the settings. And now here is where you look. Here's all the different things, parameters you can download. This one, we only have two, pressure. So pressure, the units, millibars, that makes sense. Here, if you want to say only two isobars, you could do that. And you can show the numbers. Uh, the, the numbers are already here. Uh, that's a little redundant in this case, and so forth, say OK. So now it's just every two isobars. And then you can step through them like this in time, watch the time go. Or you can just click here and come down here and jump, jump to one. So that's the process of loading a grib file into OpenCPN. And then you can play with it and see all the, there's a lot of uh, very uh, interesting functions here. And again, once these are in here, you can then actually use the, uh, the weather routing plug-in and do uh, optimum sailboat routing. That's uh, another longer topic. So I'll end there.